Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Bitcoin halving and how this is going to affect our mining rewards going forward after the halving. So we're going to be looking at a couple charts, doing some calculations, and hopefully we can get an idea of what the Bitcoin halving rewards will be after the halving for mining. So we've got around one day and seven hours there. Obviously you can see the block height that we're going to hit soon. So we're around 200 blocks away. This video will probably be uploaded around four hours after this. So if you're viewing this as it comes out, you probably have around a day before the Bitcoin halving comes. And the main thing that we really want to focus on in terms of the mining is probably the hash rate drop off that we're going to see. I don't think it's going to be too much. I believe last time that Bitcoin halved, the hash rate drop off was very, very low compared to the previous years. I think it was around 20% the first time, 16% the second time and around 7% this time around. So I'm believing that if we're following suit from those previous times, the hash rate drop off is probably going to be very, very small for Bitcoin mining. This means that obviously difficulty is still going to keep going up whilst the block rewards are still going to go down by a half. So the profits aren't looking that great in terms of the halving. I believe the halving was around here. So you can see there's a little drop off for mining rewards, but the big actual drop off was down here in 2021. And that actually halved the Bitcoin hash rate from 180 down to 90. So we're going to see it climb probably as soon as the Bitcoin halving comes in, there's going to be a little dip off, maybe three, four percent. And then it's going to keep climbing, as we can see here, as it always has. If we look at this all time chart right here, difficulty is obviously going to trail behind just a little bit. And I'm assuming that a lot of people are just going to keep on mining and there's not really any advantageous reason to not stop mining. The people that are probably going to come off the network are those uh, home miners, you know, that don't have the electricity rates that these big mining companies do. So those will be coming off the network just for a little bit, I think. And then we'll probably see them come back on when profitability starts to creep up in terms of the bull run. But over this bear market, we've seen a massive increase in the hash rate. So I want to say it was around here. If we just start at 90 down here, we're all the way up right now to 625. This is in the millions, so just be wary of that if you're thinking that I'm just saying it's 90 terahash. So that's about a six to seven times increase in the hash rate, which is actually extreme amount of hash rate hitting the network, even in the bear run, while people weren't necessarily bullish on cryptocurrency anymore. People were still in the background putting rigs onto the network. So they've obviously had a plan in place for a while to get a lot of Bitcoin in this bear market. But so is everyone else as we see the hash rate climbing and the difficulty still going up. So the difficulty chart here, just so you can see it, I know it's overlaid here, but it's a little bit different here. We're at a difficulty of 80. I don't know what the actual figure is measured in, but we're going to be doing some calculations based on how the difficulty is going to increase going forward. And then obviously the block reward decreasing as well. So we've just got a calculator here on what to mine. This is very good actually, because it lets you disable or enable block rewards, difficulty, and the value of Bitcoin. So we can play around with the value as well. This is just, I believe, an S21. So 200 terahash at 3,500 watts. We're going to be doing this calculation on the S21, and then we'll move on to the S19, because I believe that's probably what most people out there would have. And you can kind of base your own figures off of that. I will leave this linked in the description if you want to play around with your own figures as well. So currently the hash rate at 200 terahash and 3,500 watts, we have 10 cents per kilowatt hour. This is the block world right now, difficulty and Bitcoin value. And that gives us a profitability of $10 a day. So decent profitability right now, even if we hit this up to 12 cents per kilowatt hour, I know a lot of people might have that. It's giving you around $9 a day. Let's just see what it is for 15 because that's another figure that people tend to use. It drops dramatically down to 6.44. So obviously as the electricity prices increase, you're obviously gonna have less rewards because a lot of it is going on power. So if we just take this figure again and we do 10 cents per kilowatt hour and the block reward is gonna be going down to 3.25. 
but I'm willing to bet that some of it is going to go towards, you know, mining pools and stuff like that. So we're just going to go with 3.2. So I believe that difficulty might drop for a little bit, probably around, you know, maybe two, three, four days. So let's just drop it a little bit. We're just going to add a three there instead of a six. And we're going to keep the value of Bitcoin the same. If we click calculate there, you can see that even at those low electricity prices and that block reward, we're seeing only a profit of $1.40. So you can still be profitable on an S21. However, it's not looking great for an S21 in terms of the profitability or for any ASIC realistically. Now, one thing that we haven't changed as well is the Bitcoin value. So let's say that Bitcoin goes down to 60,000 and we click calculate there. We're only making a profit of 86 cents. So this is, you know, even less than what we can get on a GPU. So a lot of hardware, because this is considered the top tier of hardware in terms of Bitcoin mining, a lot of it is going to become obsolete. And that's probably why people are going to come off the Bitcoin network. So let's just say worst case scenario goes down to 50,000. That's going to put you in the negative 68 cents. So for the most part, I believe it's going to look a bit grim for those miners that have 10 cents per kilowatt hour, even if, you know, you're doing some overclocking on certain ASIC miners, I don't think it's going to be profitable for a while, but you might as well keep your rigs on there. People are always going to increase the hash rate and you're not going to be able to take advantage of a little difficulty drop and a little hash rate drop as well. So let's just reset this by refreshing the page just so we can get this difficulty back up here. So even with the Bitcoin halving coming in, we just click enable on these. I think the difficulty is probably going to go up to 90. So let's just put 90 in there. I don't actually care really too much about these figures. And let's put the block reward down to 3.2 again. Let's keep the value the same and let's see what happens there in terms of the difficulty. So if it goes up to 90, that puts us at only 63 cents profitability. And I believe that difficulty is definitely going to keep increasing no matter what on the Bitcoin network as hash rate comes on. There's no real sign of it slowing down and I don't think the Bitcoin halving is going to slow it down either. So that's for an S21. It doesn't look good in terms of the profitability. If we go over to ASICs here, there's obviously the S21 Hydro, which is coming out, but I don't believe it's a good buy right now. I don't think that any ASIC miners are a good buy right now either. If you have one on hand and you can still be profitable right now, then by all means, stick it on and keep mining. I would just kind of weather the storm, pay out the electricity because you're going to be getting rewards no matter what. I would pay it out of your own pocket if you can. But if not, you might as well mine if you still are profitable, even at that 68 cent range or that 80 cent range, because, you know, you're getting Bitcoin for free. You might as well get that profitability and just pay it off, depending on the price of Bitcoin, obviously. So that was for the S21. If we scroll down here, we're just going to take a regular S19. Let's see what the terahash is at. So let's go 95 terahash at 325. So I know that there is different modes that you can actually get this power down and the hash rate down for more efficiency, but a lot of people might not be doing that. So let's just go based off these figures here. Currently, you can make around $1.16 in profitability, but I already know that the profitability is going to be basically negative at these prices as well. Let's enable both of them. Click calculate. So when the block reward comes down to 3.25, you're going to be in the negative $3.32. So pretty much the S19 is obsolete at that point. There's obviously people out there that have lower electricity or they'll have free electricity, which will continue to mine. That's basically the big mining farms. I know that a lot of people in Canada might have that 0.08 or maybe 0.06, depending on where you live. If you're in states like Texas or Louisiana, I believe that they have lower as well. And then let's just do a calculation to see if you can be profitable at 70,000 per Bitcoin. So still not profitable. Let's do it for 85 maybe. That might actually increase the profitability. So even at 85, you're not profitable. I think we might have to even put this up to $100,000 per Bitcoin for you to be a profitable on an S19. And even at $100,000 per coin, you're still not profitable at these hash rates and these watts. So when we're looking at this in terms of the miners, I know the micro bit 
in theory should be more efficient than all of the bitmain ones however i wouldn't actually advise you to buy any of these right now because it's probably not going to be profitable for a while on a lot of these especially you home miners who don't get to take advantage of those low electricity prices either so for the s21 let's just go back to it let's put the block reward down as well and then let's put the value of bitcoin up to 70,000 and see what we can get from there let's actually up the difficulty as well to 89 i believe that's what it's actually going to be so you can make around a dollar 68 at 70,000 which is fairly good because we've hit 70,000 before let's go to i think the all-time high was around 74,000 so you have two dollars 26 so on the s21 and probably all the other s21 models you're going to be profitable S19, maybe with the J Pros, you can get some profitability, but I'm not counting on it right now. So overall, I think that it's probably going to be very unprofitable for us home miners that do have Bitcoin ASICs. There are obviously way more profitable ASICs out there, like for Casper, and there's that one coming in for Alethium that will be coming soon. Hopefully, we see a massive price rise in Bitcoin in the coming months that can actually facilitate more miners on the network. And we will be going live for the Bitcoin halving. So I don't know, set a notification or a reminder that we will be going live for it. You can check it out on the channel. It's probably going to be a day from when we uploaded this video. Hopefully you guys come in and join. We'll just see kind of what the network's doing in terms of the hash rate drop off. And we'll record some figures just for later videos. And hopefully we can enjoy the Bitcoin halving together. So stick around for that, make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content like this.